So if you might notice, I have some new piercings. I did them about, um, I don't know, an hour ago. Let me actually look and I can tell you how long ago I did them. Oh, okay, I did them three hours ago. And um, so this video is just going to talk about how it was for me. Now, I've I've not wanted these for very long. I've wanted them for a bit. Since before my surgery, for at least a couple of years, I've wanted them. And I've always felt like, well, they won't look right because I'm too fat. And my face was just way too round. And all the chicks you see that have them are quite skinny. And they have these like high cheekbones. And they're like right there. And I don't have cheekbones like that. I mean, I'm skinny enough now that you could see my face. But mm, I can't suck in. But... Um, I don't have those nice cheekbones. Never will. Nothing will change. So it's either now or never. And I thought about it and I was like, well, do I really, I want something new. And I tried my angel bites again. I don't know why I took them off because I love them. I think they're getting caught on my teeth, but I had them. I love them. I removed them and I made a deal never to pierce my bottom lip again, unless it's this. So I couldn't do that. And the dahlias, they didn't really look all that great and so I was stuck for ideas. I've done my anti-brow here which I love and I might be taking this off because it fucks me up trying to draw eyebrows on because the earrings in the way and it just makes life difficult. Um, yeah so I don't really know what to do, what else to do and I thought you know what I'm probably going to just try my cheeks again. Just spur of the moment decided this morning. Uh, to do it so as soon as I woke up I sat here and I did it and it, they went in pretty well um, I didn't really feel anything oh the bars aren't overly huge they're loose enough so the bars are all right I don't really have any swelling it's a little sore to move around but um, not really much swelling I can eat and stuff. I just have to be very careful. The bars aren't hitting my teeth or anything like that. All in all, it, it wasn't as scary as I thought because cheeks are really thick. They're a lot thicker than lips. And so I was like, oh, this is going to fucking suck. And it actually, it was, it was all right. Um, placement was kind of hard to think of because, you know, you got to be careful of your glands and stuff, which are a bit further back. So I did them quite a bit forward. Um, not too much forward, but where I thought they looked all right. Um, your glands are around here somewhere. So, uh, they're your, your salivary glands from what I've seen online. That's where they are anyway. And, uh, if I were to have dimples, I would imagine they'd be around here or here or maybe like right here. But I felt like that was a bit too far forward um, because I've had dahlias and that's just slightly off dahlias. I wanted them to be cheek piercings, not off dahlia piercings. So placement was a little tricky for me, but in the end, I'm quite happy with where I put them. Um, I, I was fine. Like I... I did them, I uploaded a picture and I was like, yeah, I just pierced my cheeks and I was quite happy. And then people started commenting and kind of like freaked me out a little bit. Like, oh my God, did I damage my cheek muscle? Am I going to get all infected? Am I, did I hit my salivary gland? And I'm pretty sure I'd know all of this if, you know, I'd at least know if I fucked myself up already and I feel nothing. So I hate when websites online and other people come and they scare you when things are normally fine. I should know like, I'm very careful when I pierce. I've pierced almost everything else. I did this. I did this. Uh, I did one of these. I did this. I did my smiley. I did the front of my tongue, and then I've done my tongue again, and I've done every lip piercing I've had on my lip except for a low bray I had down here. That rejected. These two are okay. Or Oops. These two are okay, but they're not great. Um, I got this done twice because, you know, and it's still kind of close to the surface. Uh, this one was all right, the initial one. This one I would never do myself, so I got that professionally done. Everything else I've ever had in this country from a piercer has rejected. And so I've had to just start doing them myself. And when I do them myself, they work out. So this is what I use. 
and there's a needle exchange here for junkies and heroin users, and they sell these needles for like $2.50. So I just did a little 16 gauge, no biggie, nothing big. And uh, that's what they look like, you know, for you guys that somehow don't know. And um, yeah, it's pretty much the same as what they use when you go to a shop and you pierce yourself. Um, nothing too different. I dip the needle into Vaseline first. Well, first I mark it and then I take a tape measure and I measure this way and I measure this way. I make sure that they're completely even because faces change. Faces aren't even, so you got to be sure. And then, you know, you take the lid off and then it still has Vaseline on it and the marker pen that I used. But you, you know, you pierce and then you take this off and then this stays in and then you thread the jewelry through there and then you push it this comes out and the jewelry's in and that way that's the way I do it and so um, yeah I, this would have been like 60 bucks if I'd gone into a shop and the there's only two shops here that I know of that would do it and one has a reputation for everything getting infected and rejecting and the other one they think that they're God's gift to piercers and they overcharge for everything and their stuff rejects as well. Like I got my dermals done there and this is the only one that stayed. I've had this done twice. I've had the middle done. I've had my face and my face didn't reject, but wherever it was, um, over here on my forehead, it didn't reject, but it didn't look great either. And they really up themselves. They won't do what you want them to do. They do only what they deem worthy, which is this really bad elitist attitude that shops just should not have. So, this is a finished product. I will keep you guys updated if anything goes south. And <laughs> highly doubt it, though. I have really, really, really good luck with doing my own piercings. Um, they've always come out fine. I've never had a single problem. I'll pierce sometimes. I don't like the way it looks. It's not in the right spot. And then I'll just take it out. And it's like, man, well, that was a hole in my face or nothing. So hopefully these will stay. And when the time comes for me to take them off, hopefully I'll have those cute little dimples that they give you. And I'm um, really looking forward to these healing up. And I have an idea for another piercing. It's an upper lip piercing. And oh my god, it is the coolest piercing I've ever seen. I've only seen one person with it. I'm not going to tell you what it is because then I don't want everybody else to run out and get it before I get a chance to get it. But um, I have to find the right bar for it. Once I find the right bar for it, then yeah, I'm going to do it. And I think it's going to be awesome. And if not, well, I'll just take it out. But um, yeah, so... There's your update. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.